Hello friends, welcome to another episode by Engineering Today, and we're back with some interesting space updates again. First we'll start with Gwyn Shotwell's recent update on Starship Orbital Flight, followed by a contract from Satellogic to SpaceX, and we'll wrap up with a remarkable claim by the SpaceX CEO. Let's get started with updates from SpaceX President regarding the time for Starship's first orbital launch. SpaceX activities in Starbase are going on at a good pace. In the midst of this, SpaceX COO and President Gwyn Shotwell commented that they are now expecting to become ready for Starship's first orbital launch attempt as early as the month of June or July. As per sources, Starship is ready to fly again in June or July from Boca Chica, Texas. SpaceX President Gwyn Shotwell said, pending FAA approvals, the company views human Mars exploration and nuclear propulsion systems as inevitable," she told an engineering group Thursday. This comment from Shotwell pushes back the orbital flight schedule by almost a month or more. From the present context of Starbase growth, it's quite improbable that Starship will become ready for debut launch by June. Late July can be held as a probable schedule, provided that all Booster 7 and Ship 24 testing are completed in a perfect manner without any additional delay. SpaceX will now need to cover a wide range of challenging and unproven tests as well as need the launch license to go for the debut flight. And this makes us think that's a deal of more than a couple of months. Now how much progression they've done, we must look into. The Federal Aviation Administration is presently working for completion of the Programmatic Environmental Assessment of Orbital Starship Launches from Boca Chica, and also for the launch license of Starship. Though earlier the FAA had several delays, presently it's working on its scheduled dates. According to a recent update, FAA had successfully completed the fourth of five main assessment processes. Both SpaceX and the FAA have almost completed those parts of the assessment that requires cooperation with other federal agencies and local stakeholders. As per Michael Baylor of Next Space Flight, the FAA appears to be on track to release the environmental assessment by the end of the month, hinting towards the FAA's targeted completion date of May 31, 2022. On SpaceX's side, though they've made a significant amount of progress in the last month and a half, but yet the company will absolutely not be ready to attempt an orbital launch by the end of May. A few weeks ago, SpaceX carried out cryo and stress tests on the Super Heavy Booster 7. The booster had suffered some extensive damages, but still they repaired it quickly and carried out another cryo test. If the booster hadn't suffered the damages, then it would be plausible that the booster may become ready for flight test by the end of May. But as it was damaged once, it may happen that SpaceX will no longer go on with B-7 and directly prepare B-8 for the orbital flight, which will take a lot of time. And as a result, the launch date may push back to Q3 or Q4 2022. Other than the booster, SpaceX has speeded up Ship 24 assembly and ultimately finished stacking it on the 8th of May. Though a lot of work remains for total completion, SpaceX will send S24 to a test stand within a couple of weeks. Already done the same tests in S20, testing of S24 will become less risky. Report says that Ship 24 will need at least two months of testing to reach a basic level of flight readiness. The readiness of launch tower arms and tank farm and other ground support equipment in Starbase will also assess whether SpaceX can go for orbital flight in July, if not in June. Our following update deals with SpaceX's new launch contract from Satellogic. On the 4th of May, Earth Imaging Company, Satellogic, stated that they've signed a multiple launch contract with SpaceX to launch about 68 more satellites as they plan to develop their constellation. As per reports, the new launch contract will help Satellogic maintain a reserve capacity for 68 satellites in SpaceX launches 
which will be carried out in the future. Till now, both the companies did not reveal the terms of the agreement. According to a representative of Satellogic, the launch agreement will cover the launch of satellites on the first four launches of early 2023 and after. Emiliano Cargaman, chief executive and co-founder of Satellogic, said on the 4th of May that today's announcement ensures that we'll be able to continue to launch our satellites as they're produced and that we remain on track to collect every square meter of the Earth's surface every week in 2023. After Satellogic has undergone a merger with Special Purpose Acquisition Corporation, they've got $168 million. This amount has helped the company to cover up their earlier losses and fund their satellite production capability and attain a goal of producing 25 satellites in a quarter. Rick Dunn, chief financial officer of Satellogic, said, The capital will further position Satellogic to remap the entire surface of the Earth in sub-meter resolution creating unprecedented data analytics and commercial applications. We continue to expect rapid revenue growth over the near term. Let's move to our last update regarding an interesting claim by SpaceX CEO. As per Elon Musk, Russia has been attempting to jam or otherwise breach the Starlink satellite communications network and have thus far been unsuccessful. But the operations are continuing and intensifying. The Starlink and Tesla CEO was replying to a news item in which the European Union and the United States, along with its Five Eyes allies, blamed the Russian military for a hack on Viasat's KASAT network earlier this year. The attack occurred one hour before Russian forces entered Ukraine on February 24th. According to the EU, it caused communication failures in Ukraine, affecting public authorities, enterprises and users as well as people in numerous EU member states. Viasat revealed last month that modem wiping malware knocked out VSATs on its fixed broadband service in Ukraine and areas of Europe connected to its KASAT satellite network. Starlink has defied Russian cyber war jamming and hacking attempts thus far, but they're speeding up their efforts, Musk tweeted, referring to a news on the Viasat incident. Satellite communication has been a key tool but also a key target for hacking attacks. The National Security Agency, or NSA, has updated its advice for satellite operators and their customers to protect networks from cyber attacks for espionage and disruption. The NSA said on Tuesday, the recent US and European Union public statements noted the Russian military launched cyber attacks against commercial satellite communications to disrupt Ukrainian command and control in February 2022. A month before Viasat's multi-day outage in Europe, the NSA released recommendations aimed at U.S. government agencies to protect VSAT communications because they often aren't encrypted in transit. The NSA warned that VSAT's virtual network separation cannot be trusted to provide access control, separation, or confidentiality of sensitive information and recommended the use of VPNs for confidential VSAT communications. According to recent U.S. and European Union statements, the Russian military launched cyber attacks in late February against commercial satellite communications networks to disrupt Ukrainian command and control during the invasion, and those actions had spillover impacts into other European countries. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. This will help us to improve.